out and about this morning. Come on to here. You can see. Oh well, never mind. You can't. But the both all the wall started to collapse. And it's it's easier to walk along here a bit. It doesn't really help with cyclists going down it. Oh god. It's easier to walk up though. Because a couple of weeks ago you just couldn't. It was caked in mud. It was so muddy. You couldn't even get up it. It took me like 20 minutes to get up this hill. Oh my god. I'm tired man. Damn. I went to Leeds today. So gonna walk the dogs for like an hour or so. Try and get a 5k in. Then have a bit of a rest at home first. Then go out, set for like half eleven-ish, go to Halifax, get a train to Leeds, and uh, I'm going to go to the Harry Potter shop, which will be open, pretty sure, I'm going to Leeds anyway. Uh, then the, the instruction was head on to Head Row, which is a street, and then turn right on top. They claim is diagonally. <coughs> Good tip. God, I can't walk up this hill as best, best. I can't walk up this hill as well as I could do. Anyway, see you soon. Because I'm really out of breath. I might have to take my inhaler with me. Damn. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy Leeds. Well, I've done a mile and I'm a Mucky Lane now. It's kind of a, an ironic name because it's not a Mucky at all. But when people fly tip on it and just, just dump the rubbish, then yeah, I can kind of see why it gets nicknamed. Well, not nicknamed, but the name of the street. That street. Road gets Mucky Lane. Try to vlog uphill hard because we one you out of breath and two I can't even think speak it's a bloody challenge man it's kind of funny that I just had five days off because I had Friday I had Saturday and Sunday off and then I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off then I was back in like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then I had Sunday off. And then I was back in Monday and Tuesday, and now I'm back off until next Tuesday. <sighs> Damn. <sighs> I'm really out of breath. I've got to take my inhaler with it to Leeds. Got to. I'm gonna bloody struggle. So hi. Uh, basically, gonna catch a. Well, basically, I'm gonna walk to the train. So I'm going to walk to the bus stop. Then walk from Halifax. Well, basically, get the bus to Halifax. Then go to the train station from Halifax. Then catch the train to Leeds. My speech impediment really kicked in. I was like, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> I did 3.33. Oh, God, it's still kicking in. <coughs> <coughs> Vlogging when you've got a speech impediment is tough. On speech, I'm s slightly speech dyslexic as well. Um, hence why I do that a lot. Um, but yeah, oh my God, someone's just left poo all over fire ducts and just left it. So, I was going to set off at half eleven, but set off now, get a train to Leeds, have a bit more time in Leeds and enjoy it. I'm going to the Harry Potter shop as well. Oh yeah, and I'm not wearing a coat because when I, when I was out early this morning, I wore a coat. 
did 3.3 miles with my dogs. I wore a coat, a jumper and a t-shirt. Uh, yeah, I just burn fast. So yeah, basically not wearing a coat. I'm wearing a, a jumper and a thin t-shirt, I'm wearing my Toronto t-shirt. Looking forward to Sherwood Pines. Because I keep replaying it in my head thinking I'm not going to get to go. But I just kept, I have to keep that thought of, if no one if no one takes your shifts or find cover. So that's a, conf that's a confirmation of a yes, basically. So, shifts will go in today. So I think when I'm on the bus, I will check if they've gone in, if they've gone in, text with mum, etc. Uh, curious to know if my mum's going to do anything with the first buses, because when I went to Huddersfield a couple of weeks ago with Ryan, it broke down on the dual carriageway. We had to walk up to the next bus station, bus station, bus stop, and I got a mouthful from the bus driver because I was trying to use my pass on the uh, bus when I was just, like just out of Elland, not even in Huddersfield at this point. So it would have still worked because before we even got to early top, we're still in Collardale because it's not got to the point where it says entering Huddersfield. So at that point after that is Kirklees, that's fair enough. But we're still in Collardale. So I was being banned from using my pass on a bus in Collardale. And the bus driver just didn't like me. So I have uh, some point in the future gonna post a video about it. Uh, well, because I vlogged the day. Um, and yeah. I because it, it was my day off, and I was like, I'll go to Huddersfield, and I'm like, well, fuck it now. If I'm got, if I've got a day off, I'm not going to go to Huddersfield. Fuck it. Because if people, if it's if it's like this barrier of Jamie can't go to Huddersfield on a day off, then you know, fuck it. I'll go somewhere else. This is where I'm going to Leeds today, and it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. And Leeds is. No offence, a lot better than Huddersfield. Safer. If I remember rightly, with it being Leeds, it's platform 11 to come back. Getting there is not a problem because you just get off in Halif you just get on at Halifax and then you're straight on to Leeds and you just get off there. Pretty sure it's platform 11, one of the ABCs, uh, to get to come back to Halifax. It's gonna be a fun day. And also Ryan might be coming to Galactic Golf with me tomorrow. So I'll have a packed few set of days. So I was waiting downstairs, standing around, just struggling around to stand up. I thought, let's just see what was upstairs. And there's so many seats upstairs. That didn't kick in. So I'm in Halifax, I think I might get something to eat first, then go to the station, because it won't take long to pay and then wait for the train. I was originally going to get, I was originally going to set off at half 11, and it's, wow, 11.35 now, so I'm ahead, so I might just go to, uh, let's think, b &M maybe? and get like some chocolate I think that's all on the on the train and then like have that on the way sounds like a good plan just need to get my ticket and then go to the platform wait for what train is next because I'm a bit ahead of the schedule and uh, go to Leeds and by looks at things over there there's not many people that's going to easily change though. So it's 11.46 now. That's the, the York train, 11.59, we'll expect to 12.02. We'll get to Leeds for 12.38. So I'm just going to walk up and down the platform. <coughs> Until it comes. So 14 minutes, 16 minutes. 16 minutes until it comes. 
It feels weird being back at the train station. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of chavvy people around. Like, get it, that just got off to come to Halifax just now, from this one. Quite a fair amount of chavvy people. Yeah, that might, that's, yeah, <laughs> okay. So, gonna catch the train to Leeds when it comes. Even before getting here, I've done 4.2 miles of walking, like today. So, I can do up and down on the platform uh, till the train comes. So, I can probably get another mile in, to be fair, than whatever I do around Leeds. And then for the rest of the day, God, I might be aiming onto a 20k today then. Possibly. Quite possibly. Yeah. Quite possible. You know, the last time I'll have been in Leeds was will was will have been on my customer care course. Was will have will have will have. Just me, just expect it. Just just be aware of it, just get used to it. Um, so my customer care course was last year, so it was like May, June. That was the last time I was in Leeds. Strange thing. And uh, I'm going today. And I am going to Galactic Golf tomorrow with Ryan. Uh, meeting at four o'clock. So I'm doing this all today. That's my uh, pass. It shows, I don't know. That's my pass from Halifax to Leeds. Uh, yeah. See you soon. Well, I'm in Leeds. And come to a pit where it looks a bit rough and derelict. I'm uh, going to try to find Hedrow uh, and then find the Harry Potter shop Hedrow, where will that be then? I'll find it I like that Just come to a dead end bit so I can do a little vlog I've got a Harry Potter t-shirt in there, it's uh, definitely Hedrow sort of style I could have easily got one with like the Gryffindor or Slytherin or Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw or it could have easily done that, but getting a Death of Hallows one, so much better. There's a lot of things I'm seeing in Leeds like, what? There's a, a natural selection shop, I think that's what it's called. And it's to do with cannabis and selling drugs and natural herbal remedies. I'm like, I think I'm going to a dead end anyway. But, uh, like a, and a vintage shop, which I might listen to that sort of music, yes, but would I dress that way? Hell no. And when, when I walked in, I was like, oh no, this is not, no, this is not right. I don't think I can actually go this way. I think it's just a genuine dead, yes it is a dead end. Yeah, time to go back up. I'm doing a lot of zigzagging in Leeds, because, uh, well, I don't really quite frankly know the place of it. Because I, last time I was in Leeds, I was, Going just to McDonald's and then coming back to Leeds, coming back out of Leeds. Well, this is different, I'm on my own. And there's so much of it I've not explored yet. We're just gonna get there. So, there's various pianos around Leeds, so I have to find them. I think I saw a Bohemian Rhapsody one, and I was like, alright, oh, fair enough. So, I actually saw one but didn't record it. I'll have to try and find it. Oh, the gallery's there, isn't it? All oh, right, right. Let's go to the gallery then. I was trying to find the gallery. And I was like, eh, where is it? That might be a help, helping sign. Right, I'm gonna have a look around the gallery. So this is Francis Butterfield. Ah, I've never even heard the artist. Nice. That looks a bit interesting. Eh, hey, so... Lucia Noguera? Different? 
you get some good light up here. Right, I'm gonna have to duck. Right. <laughs> Who knew you could make a pair of artwork or a set of artwork with tights? Didn't think that'd be possible, but someone's proved it can be possible. Oh, that looks terrifying. That's one of the things that pisses me off about galleries. Like, you say, oh, you're not allowed to take videos, but you can take pictures. Let's take videos. <laughs> that is Leeds Beckett University. Yeah. Yep. Not even done a five K yet. Well, that needs some work doing to it. There's a lot of shopping centres in Leeds. I was thinking I was in Trinity. I mean, actually, I'm in, I'm in St John's shopping centre, which is further up. So I'm higher up, so I've got to head back down to go to Trinity, which I've not even been in yet. God, you could, have just, you could just literally have a day out fully in Leeds. I'm up to five miles of walking. Just trying to find the train station now. Because, uh, not gonna lie, I'm a bit lost. Just trying to find it using my map on my phone. There'll be a dead obvious sign saying train station. Whew. Man, I've done a lot of walking today, man. Whew. Basically, yeah, back in Halifax. Um, yeah, total chaos in Leeds, but it's busy and everything. And then I'm back in Halifax, and uh, well, it's quiet. Minus the traffic, of course, but it's weird being in a place where it's dead busy and then come back to somewhere where it's the opposite. <sighs> Do you know what an active day it's been for me? I'm actually glad I've done what I've done and gone out. Uh, so I ended up doing nearly a 10k, even before like getting on the train to go to Leeds, nearly a 10k. Then I ended up doing a 10k in Leeds, anyway, uh, two hours, two, three hours, two to three hours or so, like that's all together. And I'm on par to like getting a 5k, like on my way home. Like, what? Like, I've done a lot of walking. Like, I've done a serious amount of walking. Like, it's mad, like, how much I've done. And then, I'm doing tomorrow, like, where I'm having, like, a 
a rest day to fair, which will probably mean doing another 10 k to fair. Uh, so I can walk the dogs in the morning, like I normally would, then walk the dogs in the afternoon, and then I'm setting off to Halifax anyway to meet Ryan for four o'clock, do galactic golf and probably go somewhere, and then I'll probably just end up walking home. Most likely, that's probably what will just happen. Uh, same as today. Then Friday, I don't know. It's gonna be Sherwood Pines. So I guess I could take the dogs out in the morning first on the Friday. Then when we get there, unpack and everything. And then we might actually go for a walk, all of us anyway. Then Saturday and Sunday, who knows? But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get a fair bit of biking and walking in over those last over those two days. Pretty sure. Now my target is to do 41.3 miles in a week. That's on average for like three weeks. Now with the way today's gone and the way how tomorrow's going, I might beat that. No doubt when I get home I'll have to charge my phone up because it's on like 34% battery, which is still enough, but when I do get home it'll be considerably lower. So I'll charge it, and if I'm going out again with my mum and dad with the dogs, then yeah, I need to charge it. I've never really steps I've done today. I must have done a lot. So I've done a 5k this morning, well no, nearly a 10k and then a 10k, then nearly a 5k now. I must have done a lot of my must have done. It's 20 to 5. Uh, going home now. Got the night all, got another uh, what do you call it? Bath lotion, Redox. Oh man. I've done like 12 miles today. Well, I got it to Westvale and I ended up getting the bus from like Halifax Road because I went, I went to that bus stop, I said next bus one minute away, I thought do you know what, it'd be daft not to wait, so I just waited for the sake of that minute, got on, got off from the trail, just walked to the chemist now, and now I'm going to walk home, and I'll probably go out again this evening, no doubt surprisingly. <sighs> I have done a lot of walking today and I'm not saying I'm going to beat that tomorrow but anything's possible. So you can tell how dark it's got already in a quick time quick time period. I uh, don't think I'm going to be doing another vlog again today. Really don't think so. Not really. It's been a long day. Long day of vlogging, long day of walking. Long day of shopping, although burning my nose got two things really, but a long day of exploring as well. Uh, gonna be home very shortly. So thanks for watching, uh, goodbye.